Okay, fifth grade, lesson 101. This is on rounding mixed numbers to the nearest whole number. Okay, first thing I want you to do is draw a line and put seven here and eight here. Okay? okay. Now, if I told you something was seven and three-fourths long, what does that tell me how many spots are going to be in here? I don't... Seven, seven and three out of four. Yes. Did you hear that? Seven and three out of four. Or so that tells fourths. me how many spots are going to be in between seven and eight. Because this is hole number seven and this is hole number eight. Four. Four spots. So watch what I do. One, two, three. You put three dashes because that's four jumps. One, two, three, four. Okay. Okay. So that's seven and one, two, three out of four. Okay? So if I were to ask you, Eli, mm -hmm. if I was rounding seven and three-fourths to the nearest whole number, what would the answer be? Nearest whole number? Uh-huh. Is would, seven and three-fourths closer be eight. to eight or seven? Eight. Eight. Very good. So the answer to this one, rounded to the nearest whole number, is eight. Okay, do you see how I determined that? Yes. And why I had to draw these four and all that? Yeah. Okay, let's try another one. Let's do two other numbers. Uh, let's do between 6 and 7. Okay? And here's what they tell me to do. Round 6 and 2 fifths. What does that tell me? How many spots are there? Five. Five. But that means four ticks. So one, two, three, four, which is one, two, three, four, five. Good. We've got it set up. We have five chumps or units, and they want to do six and two-fifths, so six and one, two, out of the five. So is six and two-fifths closer to six or seven? Uh, six. Very good. So the answer to this one would be six as the whole number rounded. Yeah. You got it? Now, there is an easier way than having to draw these, even though you could draw them every time and do it that way every time. Okay. Or you can ask yourself, just like the last one was seven and three fourths, what is half of four? Uh, two. Two. So we know that it's more than halfway. Mm -hmm. So we know that it's closer to eight. Yes. Just by looking at the numbers. Look at this one. What's half of five? Two and a half. Two and a half. Is two smaller? Or bigger than two and a half. Smaller. Smaller. So is it going to be closer to six or seven? Six. You get how you do it? Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, um, if this said seven and two-fourths, Eli, mm -hmm. what is that really? It'd be closer to seven. Well, look at it. Half of four is two. two oh, then, wait. What is it being compared by? Well, seven and one, six? No. Seven and two fourths. So, what two whole numbers is this between? This oh, one. seven and eight. Seven and eight. So, so let's it'd draw. So it'd be closer to eight. So it'd be closer to eight. Because all uh, half numbers are considered going and jump to the high, the to the next number. Yeah. So if it's half, which this one would be, okay. Whoops. Let's draw that again. So let's let's draw what we were doing a while ago. So we have seven and eight, and there are four in so here. Three. So one, two, three ticks, which gives us four jumps. And we're going to the second one out of the four, which that's seven and a half, really. Yeah. If we were to reduce it, remember? But we always go okay? to the higher. So you always go to the higher one. So if it is half of that, half of four is two, we still go in and move it to the next highest. Yeah. Okay? So you can just look at them if you want to, or you can draw them out. Okay. Okay, that's lesson one on one.